It is main event time here in the King Arena. Jonathan Goldwyn, Stephen Hensley, and G Money looking to get become the RWC Television Champion, escorted to the ring by the former broadcast partner, Mr. Magnificent. G Money, that golden opportunity rumble winner. I mean, it would say something if G Money was able to win this. I mean, he's still challenging. Still gonna challenge. Water for that RWC Heavyweight Championship down in the future. This, he won that Golden Opportunity Rumble. And just recently, G Money was on School of Morton. A good, good episode to watch. I hate to nitpick. Yeah, by that I mean I really don't, but it seems the referee has a little bias if he's going to put on a wrestler's headphones and dance with them before the match. You know, I still, I still don't know what's in that. Caden Pierre, the current holder of the RWC Television Championship, defeating Rip Cannon at the Golden Opportunity Rumble for that title. Caden Pierre, perfectly capable wrestler, and something you may forget about is that this guy is literally one championship away from becoming the first RWC Grand Slam champion. Wow. Don't sleep on that fact. No. It's I a big, big bullet point. And I won't sleep on the fact either that he's done a lot of stuff with EC3's The Narrative. This guy's in some people's radars. And I gotta give credit where credit's due and tip the hat. This young man knows how to bring it when that bell rings. I mean, I may not like his flamboyance or his tactics, but I will show the man respect. Why don't you like his flamboyance or his tactics? A little bit What's of- What's wrong with flamboyance? There's nothing wrong with flamboyance, but I mean, it uh, takes away from the match because rather than concentrating on getting a victory against your opponent, he would rather you're show off. You're sit out here in glad hand for everyone dancing around like a Tom Fool, and you're going you're going to nitpick this guy because he wears flashy ring gear? I'm not talking about flashy ring gear. I'm talking about wasting time in the match. I don't see it. I really don't see it. I think I think what? you're I think you're being a hater. I am. You're a hater. I am not a hater. You sip hater aid. You drink hater aid. You're a hater. I bet you'd still presents from all the Who's down in Whoville, too. Wait a minute. No, wait a minute, Steve. Not on my notes. Is it on your notes about anything about gemstones? That's not on my notes, but it's on the prompter. It's in my ear. John, I don't I don't think this is a situation where he asked. I think this man's the kind of guy that's going to do what he do. So, not one, but two Andersons have ran from me for this show. Things come up when it's time to face the diamond gemstone. So, I think in the best interest of RWC, which is also the best interest of gemstone, since I have beaten G Money. Since I have beaten Kay and Pierre, I feel that I need to put myself in this match and take one title that I have yet to get my hands on. So, this is a triple threat match. And what? I'll go ahead and tell you, Jim Stone is winning. Uh, can he just do that? Can he just... You want to go down there and tell him he can't? I'm not. I've got to be honest, I'm kind of okay with it. Well, I, mean, I, I think everyone in the ring should be okay with this. They're getting the opportunity to face the creme de la creme, the literal best but, in the sport of professional wrestling, Gemstone. Well, I mean, Dex Carter He's didn't the man sign with the plan. He is, but he didn't sign Gemstone is the man. I mean. Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. I, I know that. I know that song. It's in the music. Yes. 
But, I mean, just to say, hey, I'm in this one. I break it down with you. You seem confused about the way things are going. It's like I said when we heard that music and you said, I don't see it in my notes. Gemstone doesn't have to ask. He has but to dictate because he's the important one. You want to erase him from the card because without a guy like that, I'm sorry, my friend, you don't have a card. There is no show without the show. I was really looking forward to these two going one-on-one. -on -one. Now G Money and Caden Pierre have to deal with this X-Factor gemstone, which was absolutely unnecessary. Everybody's Peyton here. All right, so if you're G Money and Caden Pierre, do you try to work together to get Gemstone out of this one and get back to what the originally planned match was? I don't know if there is a work together in a situation like this. Granted, you will see some tandem offense, but it's only ever going to be for a moment because it's not like you could both win the match. Look only one of you can win the match. This is, look at this smug look on Caden Pierre's face. Is he not aware that he does not have to be involved in the decision and he could still lose the championship? Well, you can't let that get in his head right now. You let that get in your head, you're going to make all kinds of mistakes. Fortunately for him, he seems absolutely oblivious to the fact that he, he is in with some little oh! danger. But he didn't seem to be oblivious to the slap that was getting ready to happen. And Caden Pierre against the Hawks, this is, this is actually a working strategy for him. Yeah, divide and conquer. Oh, pie face and the other two All opponents. Right, Caden, 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 get out of the ring, bud. Get out of the ring. Okay, you talk about that. The first strategy was the right strategy. <laughs> Let them hurt each other. Sit in the background. Oh, Caden claiming that he had the plan all along, but I, I got to call it where, like it is. I think he's acting a little cowardly staying on the outside. Nah, as we see nah. G-Money now as back body rocks Gemstone. You know what, John? You say a lot of things like a loser. If I was, if I was, if I was. That's what losers do. They talk about what they would do if they were in a contest because they aren't in a contest. Here's the fact. You could want him in there the whole time. You could want him to fight all, the whole time. You can say this and that about a heart of a champion, but all he really needs is one hit. Let them beat each other up. Just make sure you're the one that gets the pinfall. Yeah, Kane Pierre knowing that with a bicycle kick now, taking Gemstone down as G-Money nurses That's what I'm back. talking about. Do what you do, baby. You see Caden Pierre now. Oh, a little bit of tap dancing there. Straight to the spinal column of Gemstone. But, uh, Great see, it, okay, so that's the flamboyance I'm talking about. You get caught. Duck of the clothesline. Caden Pierre turns around, gets met with a shoulder block. G Money, a lot of force behind that. Yeah, G Money calling it. G Money getting ready to come off the ropes. Caden downtown. Leap front, but gets caught in doing an atomic drop. Inverted. And G Money rocking and rolling here. Got that neck breaker. Going for the pin. No. And unfortunately for him, three men in the contest means that there's a third guy waiting every time you go for a pinfall. If he isn't out cold, out flat on his back, or far away, you're probably not going to get the pinfall. Yeah, I would have to concur with that statement, Steve, as Gemstone takes G Money down with a suplex. You know, it's a rare situation in wrestling, but this really is a situation where you can go for a pinfall too quickly. You can go for that hook of delay too quickly because when you go on your original instincts, your basic instincts for a traditional wrestling match and negates the fact that third man is still out there. Yeah, I mean, if anything, you really want to toss your opponent to the outside and have it just be that one-on-one -on -one and then try to go for the pinfall. And I don't know if any of them are going to imply that strategy in this contest. And now we're seeing a little bit of work there by Pierre and Stone with that double hip toss to G Money. Look at Caden. Okay, Caden, not the smartest choice. No, and look, is Caden going to try to go for a pin or? I don't get this. Oh my God, the, the air with that leg drop. 
I mean, it may seem like he's doing things slow, but again, what did we say a minute ago? Yeah. You can't go for that pinfall too quickly because no. Gemstone's just going to hit you in the head. So what's his choice there? Oh! Leg drop. All that way coming Woo. down. What a splash! And you see Gemstone not quick for the pinfall attempt either because, again, Caden waiting, waiting right there. No, go away. Come on. That's... You know that Gemstone's going to kick you off, Caden. Caden Payer coming off the ropes now, and oh my, what a split right down the Oh, and see, that's the thing. Caden Pierre not implementing what you said. Work on both men, then go for the pin. Right now, these two guys, Gemstone and Caden Pierre, kind of acting like there's an unspoken truce here. Although I have to say, I think Gemstone's treating Pierre with a little bit of neglect. I feel like maybe he thinks his power makes Caden not a threat in this match. I think Caden, well, he thinks that he can just wait for the opportunity. And Gemstone's not going to be the threat. But I mean, honest to God, which one of these men do you want fresh when you're trying to get a pinfall? Yeah, and, and see, that's the thing. I mean, Caden Pierre's taking the least of the punishment in this triple threat match that we're seeing now. And let's not forget G-Money here. Like, these guys, they could be putting him away. They could firmly take him out of this contest and make it a two-on-two. -two, but they are not focused. For now. Okay, so I think they might finally be getting on the same page to take G-Money out. As you see now. Wait a minute, Caden. Oh, my. Doing a little bit of tap dance in there. Straight on the chest and neck of G-Money. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with Caden at all. Why draw Jack with the guy that you're trying to get to help you take out G-Money? I mean, at the end of the day, he's not your friend. He's not your partner. He's the other guy trying to win the match. Yeah, and you, like you said, he doesn't have to be involved to lose, to lose everything. I know. G-Money fighting some way. Oh, that kick by Gemstone stops everything. Gemstone now really leaning into G Money there with all of his weight on top of him, choking him. Look at Caden. Oh! And it's easy to forget like how big a boy G Money is when he's out there next to Gemstone. He makes lots of more than look small. But G Money, he's a big guy. He's got a lot of muscle on him. You take away his oxygen, pinfall attempt to Noah Bell. That's really, really not just going to slow him down. It's going to basically make him an anchor in the ocean. Yeah, it is. I mean, that takes a lot of energy out of out of G money at that point. Make but muscle work against muscle. Look at Caden Pierre. I mean, he thinks he's superior with that soap opera slap he did just a couple of minutes ago on the outside. And Caden Pierre trying to go to work on G money as Gemstone now continues his offense on the other challenger for this television championship. And G money kicking now away. Shoulder rams applied. Well, look. G Money finally gained some offense in this one, but he's very, very slow with it. And that's that's really what we've been seeing today. Is he's the guy that's been taken apart. He's the guy that's been focused on for whatever reason. He's the guy that the other two men in this contest are focusing on as the superior threat. And that's what we're seeing now as Caden Pierre comes in and oh, what a slap there. Snap there, takeover by the champion. Caden Pierre going across the ring, measuring him. Oh, my. Nails a leaping meteora to the face there. Going for that pin, though. But look at that. And see, Caden Pierre, again, I don't think he's aware that Gemstone is that fresh when he's trying to pin, when Caden's trying to pin Gemstone. Gemstone dragging G Money back up to his feet. And Caden Pierre now getting ready to go for that big shot. Oh, wait a minute, gets caught. Gets oh. turned into Gemstone. Gemstone throws him back at G-Money. Oh, gets a kick off by Caden, another one. And Caden fighting for everything he's worth out there. He knows a trouble situation when he sees it. G-Money, though, runs in, kick to the gut, front face lock, suplexes him over. And if G-Money has any energy, roll over now. But she doesn't. I mean, really, though, to what avail would that be? He's two feet away. But it's Gemstone fully cognizant of oh, where he's at. Lord, of course he is. We've seen him in battles before, John. He didn't get hit in the head with Going the hand. Going for that pin. One, two. 
No, nah, Gemstone's a destroyer. That dude is a world breaker out there. You're not going to see him not in the moment when the pinfall happens. He'll either be getting that pinfall or he'll be getting ready for scorched earth after the fact. He didn't come out here today to lose. No, he, I, Not in a match he dictated the circumstance of. And changed the whole composition of the match just by his entering this bout. Oh! Gemstone with that knife edge chop. Busting the capillaries in the pectoral region. Can we see Gemstone now continue to work away on G Money? And look at this. Good strategy by Gemstone. Separate your opponents and work on them back and forth. And this is what we were talking about. This is what it comes down to sooner or later. You have to incapacitate one man, and then you have to dominate the other man. If you want to get a pinfall, if you want to get a submission, it's not taking one man out. It's not taking one man down. Pinfall attempt. It's taking both of them out. But, and G Money waving it off like he can find it. But look at Caden Pierre. Caden Pierre is exhausted from the beating he just took from Gemstone. Gemstone signaling this is all. Measuring and setting up for that potential gem spike on G Money. Well, he's got both of them scouted right now. Take your pick. Oh, what a gem spike! And I tell you, Caden Pierre going over. Well, Caden Pierre just got split in half. He's out of contention for the moment. But on the other side, you got G Money and G Gemstone needs to stop him, but G Money running in with that shoulder block. Going to come after him again. Gemstone ducking the clothesline. He comes off the ropes. And G Money! Hit him with the remix. Planted him flat on his back. Hooks the leg. First opportunity of the night. Two. No. Oh, my God. I thought we were going to have a new champion. And nearly, nearly topping the colossus that is Gemstone. G-Money feeling himself right now in this moment, but he cannot let up. Momentum's on your side. It's only going to last so long. The G going for it again. Wait a minute, Caden Pierre. Well, Caden not oh. taking his eye off the prize. Plants him in face first. Rolls G Money to the outside, going for a pitfall. Wait a minute, what? One, two. Oh, using the ropes. He's only he pinned he pin Gemstone. He pinned Gemstone. Well, Caden Pierre using those ropes as leverage. I think he made an enemy in G Gemstone, though. Oh, you, were, you were absolutely right. I did, not, I did not expect that for a moment. Not like that. Not out of nowhere. Not Gemstone. No. No. I, Caden Pierre has angered the wrong man. Mark my words, Steve. There will be repercussions at that one. That walk. may be the case, but you cannot be a winner if you don't defeat the right man. Whether he's the wrong man to make angry, he's the right man to pin. And celebrating the night away now, Caden Pierre. Congratulations to you. Your lifespan may be shorter, but you have made an indelible mark today, young man. Yeah, for Stephen Hensley. This is the voice of tradition, Jonathan Darren, saying thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time with Ring Wars Carolina Battleground.